Hi, so if you're like me, when you lost your sight, it became increasingly harder to put eye drops in. For me, it was always hard to put eye drops in, but uh, going blind, <laughs> I would I, like, I don't know how I would do it. And that stuff where they're like, okay, you just hold it directly over your eyeball. I would do that and my, my toes would get wet. Like, <laughs> I was not good at it. But I found this trick that I, I learned it myself. I don't know if other people have learned it too. Um, as far as I know, like I've never heard this trick from anyone else before. I found a way to put my eye drops in without wasting my eye drops. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. Here's a fun fact for you. If you're recommended to use eye drops, and every eye drop you use, um, if you have dry eyes, it's possible that you could have some surface scraping. When you get your eyes checked, ask them to check your eye health. Um, that's actually a totally different test that's not routinely done. Ask them to check your eye health. And if they don't give you a straight up answer about yes or no, and they give you some washed up thing, they're wasting your time and you tell them you need your eye health checked. And that's where they can see if you have scratches on your surface. So um, my eyes are so incredibly dry that it actually rips up the surface of my eyeballs. And so I, by day, I have eye drops that I'm supposed to use, and by night, I have an eye salve. <laughs> I don't, I forget what they call it. They have a special name for it, but it's like an eye salve that goes in. Um, but if that burns and that stings after you use it, you may be allergic to the preservatives that are in your eye drops. And so, hiya back. This is not sponsored. All these videos that I'm doing to help other people. Um, I don't mind mentioning brand names and stuff like that to help other people, but you know what? These companies need to sponsor me or something. Anyways, um, Hiya Back, uh, they, and I don't, I, for the life of me right now, I cannot remember how to spell it, so afterwards, um, I will try to include a link because I know a lot of times when I do videos where I name a product, it's a lot easier for my viewers if I just put a link, so I will try to see if I can find a link for it. I don't know if I can. Um, but it's high back, it has no preservatives in it. So with that being said, it is a little bit more pricey and it has a shorter shelf life. So keep that in mind, but I noticed a world of difference that um, it helped my eyes. Anyways, without further ado, uh, you're going to want to take the lid off your, your um, eyedropper. Remember, this is just what I do. I'm not telling you to do this. So if you do this and you do something wrong and you hurt yourself, that's on you, not me. Um, I'm just telling you how I've learned it to try and help somebody else. So you want to take the lid off. You always want to make sure your, your hands are clean. Take the lid off. And so if you hold it up normally, the dropper is pointing towards the ceiling. So now you're going to want to put it next to the eye you're going to do. So for me, I'm doing my right eye. So I have the bottle up against my right eye and I want to turn it so the dropper is actually facing forward. So it's facing, the dropper is facing the same direction that my nose, nose is pointing, okay? So you have the eyedropper, and so I just move it over until I feel the edge of the bottle against the corner of my eye, all right? And so um, I just, I do that. Now I have to be careful because I did this in my nail painting tutorial video of how to paint your nails blind. I got busy talking and then I, I did the step wrong on myself because I was explaining how to do it and I get distracted. So you're going to tilt your head to the opposite side. So because I'm doing my right eye, you're going to tilt your, your head to the left. All right, and then you're gonna to proceed to tilt your eyedropper forward. And I actually do it until I feel it touch the corner of my eye. And I know that's actually bad. You're not supposed to do that because it contaminates your bottle. But um, yeah, and I always manage to put a little bit too much so it always runs out. And as easy as that, and it's right in my eye, I'm not squirting it all over my face. Now remember, practice makes perfect, so you do have to practice. And um, perfect practice is what makes perfect. So if you practice over and over and over something, you're just going to learn to do it permanently. So if you want to do it perfectly, you have to make sure you're doing it right every single time. And me explaining it always takes five times longer than just doing it. So that's, that's how you do it. And it's the same for the other eye. You, you do the exact same steps, except you tilt your head the opposite way. And so gravity is your friend here. Um, you can tilt it a little bit back and to the left, but I just find it easier to just point 
to the left, not pointing back. And then, yeah, and there you go. And eye drops are in without any huge kerfuffle. And like I said, I always manage to squeeze too hard on my bottle. I think I panic and I just like, okay, quick, do it before I blink and do it with my eyes closed. Um, but yeah, and that's how I do my eye drops. And that has helped me so much rather than trying to do the tilt your head and trying to feel if your eyedropper is right above your eye because that never worked for me even when I had sight and it definitely did not work for me if I ha if I lost sight. And again, this is where it's different for people who are born blind versus people who have had sight and lost it. If you're born blind, you, you learn these tricks sooner, usually, um, because you've not had to rely on sight to do something, whereas if you didn't have sight, you're used to doing it a particular way. So for me, I was used to doing it with a mirror and I would pull out my bottom eyelid and then do my drops. Obviously, I can't do that now because I can't see it. So if this helped you, please write in the comments below. Um, also too, if you know people who you're like, hey, I know that they use eye drops, send this to them as a help and just see if it helps them too um, because it's nice to know a few tricks and tips. <clears throat> and people were always scared of sending me things. I'm not scared of you sending me things as tips and tricks and I'm sure other people will appreciate it as well. So please remember to like and subscribe and every person that subscribes and shares my YouTube channel, you really are helping me to raise more awareness about blindness and to stop the stigma against sight loss. So thank you so much for helping me out with that mission. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!